Google recently made Notebook LM available for everyone, and this app is totally different from other note-taking apps. As many people use Notion, including me, the question arises. Will Notebook LM take Notion's place as the number one note-taking app? Stick to the end of this Notion versus Notebook LM comparison, because I will reveal the key differences between these two note-taking apps. As always, you can find the link to Notebook LM and Notion in the description and in the comments. Let's dive in! Let's start with Notebook LM structure. To organize your notes in Notebook LM, you have to use the notebooks. Imagine Notebook LM as a collection of folders, and these folders are not connected to each other. So when you ask a question in Notebook A, Notebook LM will only use the sources uploaded to the specific notebook, and you can work only one notebook at a time. So I will show you my notebook and how it looks like, so you can easier understand how Notebook LM structure works. As you can see, I have one notebook about SEO and one about productivity. So if I ask a question in my SEO notebook, Notebook LM uses the sources uploaded to this notebook. No matter if you have another SEO related notebook, Notebook LM will completely disregard that and answer your questions from the sources you uploaded to that specific notebook. So the key takeaway is, even if you have notebooks about the same topics, Notebook LM will not connect these notebooks to each other. Also, what you need to know about Notebook LM is that it uses only the sources you uploaded to answer your questions, summarize key points, and so on. This means, if you do not upload any sources, you can't use Notebook LM. But the good news is that you can upload numerous types of sources, from Google Docs and web pages to PDFs or YouTube videos, with a few clicks. To add a web page or a YouTube video, you only need to copy the URL and it's done. When it comes to other files, you can easily drag and drop them, and Notebook LM will use these sources to give you accurate answers to your questions. To summarize, when interacting with Notebook LM, it uses the data you uploaded. Furthermore, the notebooks in Notebook LM are not connected to each other, even they are about the same topics. Now, let's see Notion structure. Ok, so in terms of Notion, you can have multiple workspaces in which you can structure your notes and basically everything. You can have a different workspace for work-related stuff and another one for personal-related stuff. When entering the workspace, you will access your pages. You can use the pages for many purposes like read in notes, to the list, tracking projects and so on. There are no rules on how you structure your notes inside Notion and what information you want to include. For example, in my Notion's workspace there are pages dedicated to self-development, money plans, YouTube scripts, admin info and notes. Unlike Notebook LM, Notion offers more flexibility to structure and organize your notes. You don't have to upload different sources to different notebooks. With Notion, you can have basically one workspace where you collect all your notes. Let's move on Notebook LM's features. Imagine you want to learn a new hobby, for instance photography with Notebook LM. There are a bunch of sources on the internet and you don't want to go through them one by one, right? What you can do in this case? Just upload the relevant YouTube videos, articles and PDF files about photography to Notebook LM as sources. After, you can interact with your sources in different ways. For example, you can ask Notebook LM to generate a study guide or a summary and so on. And most of the cases, you will do these interactions in the Notebook Guide. Let me show this. On the left side of the screen, you can see the uploaded sources. If all of them are selected, Notebook LM will use all the sources for your questions and interactions. In the middle, Notebook LM automatically creates a summary of the source. Moreover, you can ask Notebook LM to create a FAQs, study guides, table of contents, timelines and briefing docs to help you learn photography faster. For example, you can create a briefing doc about photography and in 5 seconds Notebook LM will provide you with the fundamentals of this topic. On the right side, you can see the suggested questions and the option to create a podcast from the document. I will talk about this later. Below, you can ask questions about the uploaded sources and Notebook LM will answer you instantly. Now, let's ask a question about photography. When answering questions, Notebook LM will use references so you can see which sources it uses to provide you with the answers. If you click on the Save to Note tab, Notebook LM will save this answer as a note and you can access it when you go into your notebook. Notebook LM allows you to select which sources you want to work with. So if you ask a question, you can just select one source and Notebook LM will disregard the other sources. As you can see, Notebook LM always shows you in the chat how many sources are selected. What is pretty unique about Notebook LM is the podcast feature. To click on the notebook guide, 
you can see the audio value in the top right corner. Now, click on the Customize tab to ask Notebook LM to focus on specific aspects when generating the podcast. Once you add your instructions, you only need to click on the Generate and that's it. It takes around 5 minutes for Notebook LM to generate the podcast. And the podcast is something unbelievable. Here is a short part of it. We're going to laser focus on the lighting aspects. Get ready for some aha moments. We'll be talking about why you might want to use your flash during the day. Wait, what? I thought flash was for, you know, dark situations. Right. Totally counterintuitive. Rah. And of course, we can't forget about the magic of golden hour. Ah, uh, golden hour. Every photographer's dream. Exactly. Mm. But first things first, why is light so crucial in photography? Light is everything. Seriously, it's the foundation of a good photograph. Okay, but why? Overall, Notebook LM helps you to digest complex documents and subjects much faster. It provides very reliable and accurate answers to your questions, as you are the one who selects the data it should use. Furthermore, when answering questions, Notebook LM will use references so you can see which source it uses to provide you with the answers. It's time to see Notion's features. There are numerous features I could talk about when it comes to Notion, but for now, I will focus on the key ones. Essentially, Notion is more than just a note-taking app. It is an all-in-one app that allows users to add and organize different type of contents. For example, you can use Notion for project management or creating a knowledge base for your company, etc. etc. When working in Notion, you will quickly realize that it uses a block system that works like Lego. It transforms all the content into movable, customizable pieces, which gives you the flexibility to move these blocks around. Notion is a sophisticated text editor that allows you to organize your content in blocks. In your notes, you can insert images, bookmarks, videos, quotes, Kanban boards and more by simply hitting the splash button on your keyboard. On the bottom, you can access Notion's AI assistant feature that answers your questions, gives you summaries, translates your page, finds section items and helps you improve your writing. Notion can do more than just work with text. It can help you to gather information from various files, including PDFs and images. Furthermore, Notion has templates almost for everything. It has more than 20,000 templates from which you can choose. Just click here and you can use a template that fits your needs and you don't need to start from scratch. Notion also has backlink function, which is pretty valuable as your workspace grows they make it easy to connect related pages. To create a link, hit the opening bracket key twice, start typing the name of the page you want to link to, and select the page when it shows up. This will automatically create a backlink at the top of your page. So if you click on the backlink, Notion will take you to the part of the text where the page was mentioned. Lastly, it is super easy to embed links from YouTube videos or social media platforms. You just simply need to copy the URL and Notion will do the rest. Ultimately, the list of Notion's features is almost endless. Everyone has its own favorite tools. Now, let's see the pricing. Notebook LM is a completely free app and I didn't see any news whether they want to introduce pay plans in the future. In terms of Notion, the free plan is pretty generous. The features I used previously are all included in this plan. The plus plan is 9.5 euros per sheet which is ideal for small teams and professionals to work together. It includes unlimited blocks and file uploads, 30 days of page history, and you can invite up to 100 guests. The business plan is an excellent choice for bigger teams, as you can invite 250 guests and it allows bulk PDF exports. It costs 14 euros per sheet. And finally, Notion offers enterprise plans for bigger companies with custom pricing. All things considered, Notion and Notebook LM are two totally different note-taking apps. They have different use cases, different purposes, and different functions. I think Notebook LM created a new space in the note-taking industry. It is very capable tool for education and understanding complex subjects and creating high-quality podcasts from uploaded sources. Considering the lack of customization options and the fact that you cannot connect notebooks inside Notebook LM, I think Notion is a better alternative for note-taking. However, if you are looking for a tool for research and educational purposes, I think Notebook LM is an exceptional one. So based on this, I recommend both of the tools. Personally, I utilize Notion for note-taking and I use Notebook LM for learning. 
give a try to this combo. If you want to learn more about Notebook LM, here is a tutorial where I will guide you through step by step on how to use this app. I hope I helped you to differentiate between Notion and Notebook LM and provided you enough information to decide which one is better for you. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and I will get back to you ASAP. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you later guys.